moment, blood is running deep around here, or at least it will in Franklinville. Hmm. I think that we're going to have to have a little fight. Because, Manu, I know your reputation. I know your family. Heck, I used to travel a little bit with your old cousin, Rosie. You know, three-minute warning. <laughs> uh, don't think that I'm coming unprepared. Because, what? Excuse me. What do you want? Can't you see that I'm busy? I have a little bit more, better... You don't even get it. I need to what? I need to respect you. You, <laughs> you don't even, you don't even come around anymore. You just come around to bash on me, to make me feel like I'm not good enough. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> you wanna talk smack? Huh? Oh, I'm talking smack. Yeah, doggone it, Uncle Gerald. You shut your mouth when I'm busy. I'm, this is about me, me, not you. You don't think that I can do <laughs> what I want to do <laughs> to Manu. Manu, excuse me and pardon me for my rudeness, but my Uncle Gerald. You see, I have two uncles that kind of guide me along my way. One uncle, he's a little bit busy right now. <laughs> you might see him this Friday night. He, he loans me thing. He brings nice little trinkets to the ring for me to mm, inflict a little bit more pain on people. And then one uncle sits there and bashes me and tells me I'm not good enough. And then I'm going to end up just like I did in 2007, broken and without a title. So, Uncle Gerald, <laughs> you think you know everything. <laughs> Just like Manu, you probably think that this is just another little indie guy that you can feed to your resume. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but I'm the NWA Dog Pound Champion. And come October 23rd, Manu, your Samoan heritage is going to take a hit. And it's not going to be pretty high.